Hello friends, here I am continuing speaking on uh, uh, the Duduk and the Reed. So what I did not say in my last video, I will try to speak here. So it just comes spontaneously up in, in my mind and I am talking. Mm. So to make to make a Duduk, uh, the very um, part at the bottom of the apricot tree is taken and uh, there are two parts in that piece of wood uh, it is a central part of it which is darker than the other part which is like more to the side uh, and for for a good instrument only the central part only the central part is taken so from one central part like this you can you can make a couple of duduks or in other wind instruments and other flutes uh, why um, why apricot wood is taken for uh, for this to make a good instrument a good wind instrument here in Caucasus because uh, there is a lot of moisture when you play it uh, if it is like cool weather uh, after a couple of minutes already uh, moisture starts dripping out of the duduk so there's so much uh, so much uh, water inside that uh, that uh, other uh, wood types would just uh, would just deform would just uh, change the tuning of the instrument so an only a good quality of apricot wood uh, does not change the tuning by time you know if, if the quality of the wood, if the density is not good enough, not high enough, after six months, after one year, the tuning will be changed already. So you will have to go back to the maker and fix the tuning. So that's why make sure that you buy an instrument from a good source. You buy it from a good maker with a, uh, I would say, famous name. This is a sign of, uh, of uh, high quality. So find out uh, which names uh, are good, which makers are good. So I can tell you that uh, um, in the beginning I I bought uh, one, two, three instruments from different makers uh, living living back in Moscow, and uh, I I did not know how to choose the instruments. So all these three instruments were just shit. You know, it's just some stuff uh, you 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 will never get uh, in Armenia probably uh, for the price I bought it in uh, in Russia. So for a good instrument, either you just uh, order it from the famous maker you know, or you go to Armenia and do it as I did. So I found out good makers. I found out. What's, what are the differences, what is a good instrument, what is not good instrument. So the density is very important for, for a good quality duduk. And uh, it, it's not only the density, but it's also, it's also the vibe of it, the vibration. So the maker, he just knocks on it and he can, he, he can hear it, he can, he can listen to the vibration of it. He can say how good will be the sound, because the quality of uh, sound uh, is um, depends on how open is this sound. It's just uh, another quality. Uh, you can say the openness of the sound, because it's not enough to have a good tuning of the duduk. It's also in, uh, important that the sound is kind of open. Yeah. So it is not not very much uh, uh, quiet. It should be quite loud and you know uh, joyful is openness of the sound it depends on the material of course so another thing is this throat the neck yeah how good is this also it's important not every maker makes it nicely and also the quality of uh, of the work itself you just can look uh, through through the instrument and see uh, how nicely it is polished how how nice are made the holes you know how how beautiful it all together is and of course the tuning the tuning must be right there are no uh, professional and half professional duduks it's just professional duduk and souvenir duduk like that 
because if if something is out of tuning so it will spoil the whole thing you must have a tuning as so good as G1 that Parian has it the tuning must be right otherwise otherwise you will try to fix it with the with the read so which you can make sometimes you can sometimes you can relax your lips sometimes you can make it more tense uh, make them more tense uh, but then you will get very bad habits you know in your playing and the good teacher would never accept uh, you getting bad habits so from the very beginning you try to get a good instrument good read uh, what is a good read the good read is the read which is uh, which is uh, which is tuned good it's not only tuned good by itself like uh, like it has a proper uh, um, proper key, you know, it's not in the middle of uh, one key to another key, uh, so it must be if it is A, so it must be A, so, so, and it must be also tuned in into your duduk, uh, the makers which, uh, who make these sets of duduk and reeds, they can do it, they can put some more threads or uh, on the read or to take some threads from it so to make the tuning nice so that it's all uh, together uh, makes a proper note uh, and in the beginning it's also important that you can you can blow it so you can uh, it is quite kind of easily blown that, uh, uh, it is not too much tough it, the the more is the, 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 the tougher is the read actually you can say maybe the better it is so it's more professional if it is tough but in the beginning you must uh, be able to blow it otherwise your motivation motivation will leave you and you will not uh, keep playing the duke so in the beginning try to get a softer read uh, but if it is too much soft the sound becomes like like not a duduk sound anymore it goes like clarinet or something else so it must still be uh, the sound of the duduk this timber must be the duduk timber. Try to find that balance between uh, the, how how uh, how hard is the read and uh, and the sound of it. This is very important. So there are different types of even even apricot wood, which are taken for for making a duduk. For example, the swords are called tabarza or arjanabat. So, uh, as I said before, they are taken from the north of, of Armenia, not from every part of Armenia can be taken this sort of, of apricot wood. Uh, you, must quite, you must know quite a lot about it, you know, to... I will try to tell you every, everything I know about it, don't worry. What can I tell more about it? With a good um, duduk, you can you can play it to, for 20, 30 years. It will still keep keep being good. Uh, even now, you can find um, some duduks of the maker whose name was Karlen. So he already passed away, this guy. But still, he he was so famous, and his duduks were so good that even half tones you you just you just play like this. You just you just hold uh, half half hold here or here or wherever uh, these half tones were uh, sounded even like 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 an open hole which is almost impossible on on such an instrument if you if you play half hole the sound is a little bit windy but in the case of Karlen's duduks it was like the same and it, um, these duduks were miracles still you can buy them right now like like antiquar antique things and uh, comparing to a new duduk by Karlen, uh, Karen Nukalian who is very famous uh, it will be maybe the price will be maybe five six times uh, higher than a good quality duduk of these days so Karlen was very good in making this and uh, what about the reeds maybe I can say more uh, yeah there are different um, qualities of material it is always the same plant it's a reed uh, but it is taken from different parts of Armenia and uh, like from here around Yerevan 
uh, they call it local local read and the local read it has it is more uh, more tough more dense more uh, like uh, like this and uh, another type is taken from Karabakh so this is a territory where uh, the war between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan was um, some years back uh, I find that uh, f the plants from Karabakh uh, they are a little bit softer and nicer to play for me as as a foreigner not as, not, not as Armenian uh, because this Armenian wants a little bit mm, tough for me, I find it. So and you will see that they absorb more uh, or less uh, water, more or less moisture, depending on the area of where they were cut. So you will know more about these things. Just, just be more uh, brave and mm, not uh, not sticking only to one maker. Uh, try to educate yourself try to see what kind of what kind of makers uh, uh, and what kind of what kind of um, products they make so it will educate you a lot so i try to buy from different makers and see how it goes if i don't like it i just sell it out if i like it i keep it and the more i see of different uh, products the more i understand uh, this instrument because it's not a serial instrument. Every every duduk is made made by hand. Every reed is made by hand. You cannot find the same reed uh, from the same from the same maker. One time he he's successful. One time he is not. So if he is a good guy, he probably will not sell a bad one. But sometimes they also do it. They just sell everything out. Um, like if you come and you don't know how to choose and you are just. You know, they don't know you per personally. In the East it's very important to know someone personally. So when you come and they serve you a tea and then you, uh, you have a nice conversation and you... And only after that you just try to come to the instruments to make a nice choice and then it's already a different story. You know, in the East it is like this. It's not... The price is not, is not a fixed price for everyone and the quality is not a fixed quality for everyone. So it's nice if someone could help you to to get to a nice instrument like that. So if you buy, uh, if you think how many reeds you should buy in the beginning, buy at least two or three. So this is the minimum you have, you need to have because uh, the reeds are very naughty. So sometimes they want to play sometimes they just don't want to play you go you go to another climate they don't play you come back they start playing again this morning this read plays uh, another read doesn't play uh, you just you just don't know you just don't know uh, they are so 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 special every read is so special there is no copies of them so you better have uh, some of them so you don't spoil one uh, you just uh, don't overload one you have to change them, uh, play, then you see your reed is tired, it just doesn't doesn't make what you want it to make, so you take another reed. And like this you you need at least two, I, I would say this is super super minimum to have two, it's better you have three and more, like that. So it is enough for the next video, I will keep speaking on this topic, bye.